Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, we're Solar Supply, and today we're going to be showing you how to access the settings menu on a data machine and what the basic outline of what each of those menus do. Hey guys, so as mentioned before, what we're going to be doing is just briefly explaining what each one of the settings do on a data machine. Firstly, let's start with the, dis the, the beginning display and how to get into the settings menu. As you can see, every single data comes with a standard looking display, whether it's a 5 or a 50, it doesn't matter. You'll always be able to get into the settings menu by looking at the top right and seeing a cog. Then press the cog, that then brings up your, set, your settings menu. Now, what we're going to do is just briefly explain what each one of these does. In another video, what we'll do is we'll talk more in depth onto each, each setting and how, and how we can use it effectively. First, we're going to start with battery setting. Battery setting is just there for your basic setup, how many amps the battery is, how much you want it to charge, discharge, and what its restart and low battery voltage or percentages are. Then next, basic settings. It's kind of as the, the, the name of the setting menu kind of explains, it is your basic setting. So your time sync, your beep, auto dim, date, time, all those kind of general things, as well as what language they both will be in. Then the next thing you have is probably the most important setting, but we'll spend some time on that in another video, really going into depth and explaining how we can use it effectively, and that's system work mode. System work mode gives you the ability to select your energy pattern, as well as what, what your CT ratio is, and what your CTs are doing, as well as what's data I would say and SunSync are most well known for is their time of use setting which will go into depth in another video. Then we have grid setting. What grid setting is used for is basically just all your grid options as well as whether it's single phase, three phase and all of those general settings. Then you have advanced function. Advanced function is also would be used for whether it is you paralleling or any other kind of things you generally need in ATS, but that will also be covered in another video. Gen port would be the next one you're going to go through. That is all your generator settings for the smart load, which is pretty self explanatory in its own right. The last one, and probably the, you know, it's got its importances, especially with, when it comes to fault finding, is your device info, which then brings up here. This is our test unit at the factory. So as you can see, we have been testing. So there is a lot of faults at the moment. But what this, what this menu tells you is any faults that you have, and when it occurred, what time it occurred, as well as what kind of, of your inverter ID is and what its version is, if it needs an update or whatnot. Thanks guys, that is basically how the basic understanding of each of the setting menu is.